y'all. So today I'm doing a quick holiday gift guide because in case you're short on notice like I am, you still have gifts you have to buy. So I'm going to start with, I guess technically beauty, skincare, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, so one of my favorite things, if it will focus is the Laneige sleeping mask. Right now, all I have is vanilla, but I did have peppermint, which for the holidays, absolutely my favorite. But I have ran out, sadly, and I couldn't find it again. So another thing from Laneige is their, I forgot what it's called, Lip Glowy Balm. I have peach. There wasn't really many options when I picked it up, so between peach and grapefruit, I think was the other flavor they had. I really don't care for grapefruit, so peach it is, but they have other flavors for people. Same with the uh, lip sleeping mask. Same thing. They have tons of flavors, and I guess it'd be flavor since whatever you want to call it. It still tastes amazing. Okay, so sticking with kind of beauty, this Morphe, it's like a whole quad. Um, I guess it's this second one I'm really not sure but it's called pink please this is the one I like I'm actually wearing the um highlighter and the blush on it which, as you can see it comes with like eyeshadow then it has the blush this looks intimidating and it's very pink but honestly I love a blush um then it has something for your lips it's not really tinted so it's more just like a gloss but um and then the highlighter love the highlighter it has like a pinky hue i don't know if it's picking up but it has like a pinky hue to it so it kind of goes with the theme of the very pink <laughs> blush um another thing that i've recently found and really fell in love with was the charlotte tilbury i don't know if you can even see it beautiful skin foundation i'm wearing it also right now as you can see it's not really full coverage but for somebody you know that doesn't really like makeup and wants to wear makeup and it doesn't want to feel like it's like caked on this is probably the first one i've ever used that really doesn't feel that cakey so absolutely love it um something else i've recently been loving is the ColourPop eyeshadow it's in mighty morphin it's a super shock shadow ultra glitter let me open it to show you i literally just rub my finger on it and then just put it on i'm wearing it also just a quick sparkle go and glow um another thing if you know somebody who loves sparkles which i do i love glitter on top of the morphe i have this fenty highlighter and it's a diamond bomb is what they're technically called it's called how many carrots i've also used it if you can't tell on my eyes it kind of has some brownie on it for me putting it on my eyes but love it it's like pure glitter um another beauty technical product sorry i'm like looking at everything around what i got is black opium as you can see i'm running out like i mean running out i got this last year um for christmas and i literally wore it almost every single day just because i was in love with the scent but it is more of a nighttime scent and I think the next perfume I may buy, which would also be a great gift, is the new Prada one that came out. I'll link it down below because I can't remember what it's called. But it smells amazing. And that would probably be my next perfume purchase, along with a new Black Opium. Um, another beauty thing is these little headband thingies. Uh, sometimes we'll use them whenever I'm doing like a face mask so I don't have all my hair in my face. Now I will say, if you have a large head, because I've tried to use it on my fiance before when he did a mask with me, it will not fit your head. <laughs> you might want to try a different brand. I just got it off Amazon. It may be a kid's one, honestly, because it's almost a little too small for my head. But it still fits enough to where I can use it, so perfectly happy with that. Okay, another thing that is the easiest purchase you can get for somebody is a Bath and Body Works candle. I got this one last year. It's the Winter Candy Apple. Um, for Christmas, I just started burning it, as you can tell. Also, just excuse my ugly wicks because I don't have a wick cutter. But this scent, 
Oh, it's just so good. It's sweet, but it still smells Christmassy, which is kind of weird. I honestly thought I wouldn't like it when I burned it, but it smelled amazing. And like, within a few seconds of burning it, my entire room smelled like it as I'm cleaning my disaster of a room from moving back home from being in college and using it as a storage place until we can get our own place. But um, there's also another scent, which I uh, um, picked out for my sister. It's like frosted fireside or something like that. It also smells really good. It's sweet, but also has like a smoky to it. So it's perfect scent, honestly. Um, now I'm gonna, oh wait, no, I have another beauty. I'm gonna grab it. Um, so this is well loved, so. Don't be making any comments, but my slip, sleep, sleeping mask, um, I only use it occasionally now. I used to use it every single night, which is why it looks horrible, but I also had the matching pillowcase with it, but sadly my pillowcase ripped after years and years and years of use, <laughs> so I'll have to get me a new pillowcase as well, but thankfully that eye mask has lasted me forever. I think I've had the mask for probably i want to say five years four or five years no it's probably five probably five going on five and the pillowcase literally just broke because my mistake i accidentally washed it completely wrong i dried it and you're not really supposed to dry this so taking a turn to something different is books the recent books i've been reading slash authors that i just absolutely love right now so this book is called the woods by Vanessa Savage. Well, two girls went in, only one came out, The Woods. You have to have that in the title or else you'll find a thousand books called The Woods. Trust me, um, I don't even remember how I found this book. I think I was just looking on Amazon for a book and I found it and I was like, ooh, I've never heard of this author, I'll try. And she's actually kind of more newer author. I believe she started publishing books in 2019. So she doesn't have many and they all kind of fall into the same category is a psychological thriller this book was absolutely amazing had so many twists and turns but not hard to follow pretty easy to follow the whole time and then the end was absolutely just bam crazy i was not expecting the ending so she did a great job with that book um one that i literally just finished yesterday is this book by i think it's Kristen. yeah Kristen hannah distant shores um this is the third book of hers I've read. She did Firefly Lane. If you've ever seen the TV show, the books are better than the TV show. Literally, I read the books before the TV show and amazing. I only read two. I don't know if there's a third one. I never really looked, but um, so I decided to read this one, Distant Shores, because it's the only one I could find. Um, we were back in Florida in the beach, so um, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's more about a couple and then getting through being married for a very long time it's really good uh look it up i'm sure they have it on amazon and i can't remember what book i asked for christmas but it's gonna be one of those two authors but i'll let y'all know what i get after christmas so that way y'all can see everything make sure i covered everything oh um shoes my mom thankfully got me a new pair of these because i had the same pair for two years and I demolished them but hey dudes the most perfect purchase for a person they also have fuzzy ones which are really fun but um those are my favorite like this i literally got she got me the same exact pair i had because i'm more of a tan person it goes with everything in my opinion but they have so many colors they have fuzzy ones they have them for guys too my fiance loves them he's going on like his fifth pair because he cannot keep them clean because he keeps buying white ones okay i hate white shoes i can never keep them clean so i stick to something close to white i just had something fall out of it a rock um another great purchase for somebody especially someone who works or maybe even like a, a teacher who doesn't want to have to carry like a huge purse you can get them a backpack so this is a Vera Bradley one. It's just a small backpack. I have stuff in it still. But um, uh, my mom found it for me actually because it matched my makeup bag. And that pattern is no longer available because it is super old. So um, she got me the backpack uh, from someone who's selling it on Facebook. And it has been my favorite ever since. I use it if I just need a quick travel bag or um, for whenever 
I start working I'll probably use it as my work bag to carry everything in because I don't care for like a huge purse maybe I have like a small purse and backpack good to go I can carry everything in that like everything my laptop clothes um toiletries like my toiletry bag I'll throw it in there too I mean you can literally put everything in there and I mean it has like little pockets on the front too but yeah just a small bag or even a purse for somebody be a great gift for Christmas okay last I'm going to talk about one gift that is not technically for women or people in your life because other people like it like the Laneige my fiance loves this stuff okay loves it he won't admit it but he loves it so just so y'all know he adores it okay same with like perfume you could get cologne too for men plenty of cologne especially bath and body works ones the ocean and bourbon the actual like colognes not the body spray the colognes terrific they smell lovely and most guys like them so easy gift um but for dogs the best toy i found because mine will destroy everything they cannot have stuffed toys they rip the stuffing out they bite the heads off i mean it's it's a mess so my mom actually found these type of bones when my sister had her first dog. She had a dog like a year before me, me getting my three dogs, you know, three crazy amount of dogs. Also, they share these toys and really don't care. Now, they will pick favorites. She found all of these. They're called Luma Bones. They, the different ones, it's a stick, a wagon roll, and a wishbone is what they're called, and they're bacon flavored. She gets them at Sam's. I'm sure they have them at Costco. I know they have them at like Tractor Supply and Walmart. They have like the individual ones, and they will not ruin. Now, if you step on it after it's been chewed, it does hurt, and sometimes it will peel some of the stuff off, but literally my dogs have the same ones they've had from like a couple years ago, and they work just fine now they love a new one so for christmas um my mom always gets the dogs um a gift so she got them each their own pack i blew my bones because they love them. literally love them like if they are bored instead of chewing on something else they will literally chew on that because it's they can't ever finish it they can't bite it completely off so they will just keep biting and biting and biting it so they won't bite anything else which is amazing if you ask me because my dogs used to be the worst chewers on everything. But as long as they have a Luma Bowl, they're good to go. <laughs> so yeah, that's the um, wrap up of my last minute holiday, holiday, I cannot speak today, holiday gift guide. So you might wanna go real quick, run somewhere to get it. I'll have everything linked below where I got it from. Most of this stuff is pretty easy to get. You probably get from Amazon or like the Bath and Body Works candle. It'll be just a quick run in, grab, go. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll be posting more holiday videos to come before Christmas.